Hi, my name is Andrew Stoltman. I'm a Chicago-based investment fraud lawyer. Did you lose money with QSTAR Capital? If so, those investment losses are potentially recoverable through the FINRA arbitration claims process. Like most brokerage firms, QSTAR Capital uh, puts a binding arbitration clause in its new account agreement with customers. What this means is that if you wish to sue QSAR Capital for any reason, you have no choice but to do it through the binding arbitration process through a group called FINRA. Each and every year, brokerage firms get sued for various activities that are simply illegal, but unfortunately happen all the time. For example, unsuitable investment recommendations are very common. Brokers have to take a suitable approach to making investment recommendations by taking into consideration your financial resources, your future earning potential, your age, your other holdings, and other issues like that. Churning or trading of a portfolio in order to create fees and commissions is also very common. Brokers will also engage in activities like misrepresentations and omissions, which basically means not telling the full truth or not disclosing all material relevant facts with respect to an investment. There are other issues like failing to asset allocate, failing to diversify, breaching one's fiduciary duty, failing to supervise, and other actions like that. All of those are recoverable in the FINRA arbitration claims process. If you wish to sue QSAR Capital, please call our securities arbitration law firm for a no-cost review by an attorney as to whether these investment losses can be recovered on a contingency fee basis. Our phone number in Chicago is 312-332-4200. That's 312-332-4200. Thank you.